And it's a very good afternoon from me, Johnny Bryan, and welcome to a beautiful Alliance Park on like a spring-like Wednesday afternoon here in North London. These are the RFU AASE finals for 2015. The first final of two is the plate final against Gosforth Academy and Bicton College. Both teams are both getting ready as we speak and do have to kick off at 1 p.m. Let's look at the two teams. First of all, Gosforth Academy. They start with their front row of Angus Fulton, Jamie Blamer, and Adam Mohammed. The locks of Richard Ma and Tom Collins. Joe Cracks, the captain at six. Nathan Newbold, seven. Callum Chick, number eight. James Telford is the scrum half at nine. Fraser Boldy, the fly half at ten. Sam Winless, 11. Sam Jobson and Mike Searle are the centres at 12 and 13, respectively. James Cooney at 14. Dan Marshall is the fullback, and they are coached by Mr. P.J. Butler. Bicton College, this is how they, they line up. At number one, Oli Dorr. Number two, Charlie Gibbings. Three, Jed Kirkin. Four, Connor O'Shaughnessy. Number five, Josh Caulfield. Six, Nat Bailey. Seven, Tom Bottoms. Eight, Toby Papp. Nine, Adam Bagwell. Ten, Tom Potts. Jack Faulkner at 11. Harry Skinner and Harvey Skinner, I do beg your pardon, and Harry Strong at 12 and 13, respectively. Ravi Hansford, 14. Jordan Petheridge, the fullback of 15, and they are coached by Mr. Rob Gibson. Your replacements. Six replacements for Gosford Academy in Ralph Johnson, Harry Lane, Adam Shepherdson, Paul Barron, Jack Scott, and Aidan Gray. And for Victim College, Aidan Taylor. Matt Simons, Ben Logan, Tom Croker, Aaron Thompson, Will Flynn, and Ollie Avery Wright. So both teams are just making their way out of the dressing rooms into the town below me. Nice little, little crowd here this afternoon here at the Alliance Park. Some have taken half a day off work, come and cheer on their respective colleges. And the guard of honour of both the team's replacements. Ready to welcome both sets of 15. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous sunny day here at the Alliance Park here in North London. Quite foggy on my way down from the north of England here today, but the sun has basked here at the Alliance Park here this afternoon. I'm very much a spring-like day. Nice little cooling breeze from the south. That will help the kickers. So we're only moments away now from our first final, the AASC plate final. Gosworth Academy beating Henley College in their semi-final by 19 points to 17. Picton College getting past Ivy Bridge College by 22 points to 13. Both teams having buys, in, in fact, in the play playoffs in the uh, quarterfinals. And here come both sets of 15. Gosworth Academy in the blue shirts and yellow socks. Bicton all in white. Just getting their last little words from their respective captains. Before battle commences here in North London. So it's going to be Dan Marshall, the Gosworth fly uh, fullback, I do beg your pardon, who will get this match underway. And away we go. 
picked up by Bicton by Ollie Dole. Bagwell, box kick downfield. Gosforth collect, and they win an early penalty within the first 30 seconds of the game. So Dan Marshall will kick this one to touch. Must have gained some territory to put Gosforth on the front foot in this plate final. Does he reach touch though? He doesn't. Early error for the Gosforth fullback. Jordan Petheridge responds and finds touch himself just inside. The 10 metre line and 22 inside the Bicton half, so it will be a Gosworth line out. Delarmeyer, the Gosworth hooker. A little bit of a juggling act there by Richard Marr, but still in Gosworth hands, but it may have been turned over, and it has done. Bagwell. Ollie Dore gaining the ground. Bagwell finds a, spots a little bit of a gap, gains about a few feet. No scrum half there for Beckton, so somebody's going to have to act it. Instead, they gain a couple more yards, and it's picked up by Toby Papp. Bagwell to his left. Tom Putt, high into the air. Who wants it? None of them do. It's gone on the bounce instead. No knock on there from the referee, so Gosworth have got this clean. But Beckton win the penalty. Two minutes down. And Tom Putt will look to gain some yards from this kick. Decent one it is as well into the Gosforth 22. This is the first test for Charlie Gibbons. Just confuse the situation, wearing a blank shirt. Went long with it, didn't work out. And I said it picked up by Nathan Newbold. Ball's going backwards, says the referee. It's a level game. Goss with three, Bicton three. So we restart. Ball was knocked forward, and it will be a Picton scrum the first of the afternoon. Bagwell with a put in. Tom Pott, Jack Faulkner, tackle by Sam Jobson, Bagwell, good offload to Conor O'Shaughnessy, Bagwell, and again, Pott, little chip over, not a bad chip it was too as well. Puts pressure on the Gosworth line out. Good vision there from the Bicton fly half. A put and a chip. It's where we're playing golf, not rugby. Good line out from Gosworth. They collect from their own five metre line. Joe Craggs was the one with the, the take. The pressure from Bicton. As they go for a drive forward. To gain the yards. But it will be a Bicton put it. Good first scrum from uh, Bicton. 
Let's see what they can do with their second. Adam Bagwell with the put-in. And he collects as well. Tom Putt. And this is good stuff. This is Jordan Bethlehem under the post. Good stuff from Rigdon. First try of the game. Nine minutes in, excellent angled run there from Jordan Petrich as the first try of the game right under the post and Bicton get their rewards. All from a good scrum there from Bicton College. Putting pressure on Gosforth inside their own 22 and now this relatively straightforward kick from Tom Potts for a seven point lead straight over no bother 10-3 the score 10 minutes down see Bagwell to Potts and, and Petrich here making the angle run making the space run under the post Dan Marshall with the restart. Picked up by Tom Bottoms. Bagwell. Tackle there by Sam Jobson. Tom Putt. Bicton on the front foot in the opening half. Toby Papp. And Bicton win the penalty. Not having it for Gosforth at the moment. Bicton look to do exactly the same again. Send this one down towards the corner. A little bit more of a hook this time from Tom Putt. Still gets over the Gosforth 10 metre line just short of their 22. Gibbings. Goes long, ball went backwards. So we continue. Bagwell. Josh Caulfield. Bagwell again. Tom Potts. Faulkner getting over the game line into the 22 now. Bagfield, Bagwell, spots a little gap himself, catching Gosseth off guard, somebody's got to ask scrum half, who is it to be? Strong, ball's been knocked forward, so will be a Gosseth put in, disappointment there for Bicton, who really are on the front foot in this opening 13 minutes of the game. His instructions once more. Just remind you, this is a uh, 3D, 3G pitch that they use here at the Alliance Park. So it's perfect conditions all year round. Talford with the putt in. Good, strong scrum from Bicton. It's Gosforth really under pressure, picked up by Callum Chick. Hit 
downfield. Jack Faulkner takes it quickly, but too quickly for the referees like it. In fact, he spots there was a little deflection on the way through. So it will be a Gosworth lineout on their own 10 metre line. Blarmeyer. Salford. Joe Cracks. Salford. Jimmy Blarmeyer. Into Bicton territory. Balls out, says the referee, so this could be a turnover in Bicton's favour. But it will be a Bicton put in at the scrum. 15 minutes down, Bicton College lead, 10 points to three in this AASC finals day. This is for the plate. The championship is still to come between Hartley College and SGS Filton College. They can go for three o'clock. But this is the nice starter before the main course, as it were. Tom Potts with the kick downfield. Spots the gap. Catches Dan Marshall off guard. And it's an awkward bounce for the Gosford fullback, but he's done well to recover. Telford. Good kick from Marshall. And again, another awkward bounce here for, for Beckton, but a good. Counter attack on its way now from Jordan Petridge, the only try scorer of the game so far. And they win the penalty for their trouble. Got a man down for Gosworth. So we'll have time off for a few moments while he gets a little bit of treatment. Just a reminder, it's the AASC finals th this Wednesday. Seven days from now, we'll be at Twickenham for the school's finals day. There's a little bit of replay here to, to uh, what happened. A couple of knees, elbows and toes there. As this player just gets a little bit of treatment. And one, two players with a little bit of cramp as well. As they see some treatment from the physios as well. Well, as we wait, we might as well uh, see the uh, try from the only, only try of the game so far from Jordan Petheridge of Bicton College. Good scrum this was from Beckton. Tom Putt spots the run from Petheridge to go under the post. So we're back in play. Penalty to Bicton. Into the 22 once more. Just to remind you all, 35 minutes per half in this level of the game. So Gibbings. 
but can smell blood. Not this time. James Telford with a little bit of a snatch. There is Goffith looks to clear their lines from the deep. Angus Fulton. Slowly but surely they make their way. Marshall down once more into touch this time. But a good kick it is as well as the touch judge runs up towards the halfway line. Marshall's got a bullet of a right boot. Charlie Gibbons, a little bit of encouragement or an instruction or two. Here's the call. The collection. Bagwell. Tom Pott. Toby Papp. To the halfway line. Bagwell. Josh Caulfield. Goes to Grand. Bagwell. Ball is lost, but and the penalty is won. And Gosworth will be the ones looking to gain the yards from this kick into touch. And now we go straight to Dan Marshall. He'll be aiming for around about the 22 here. A little bit of a slice off his boots, just short of the 22. But a good kick all the same. but it's working for them. Adam Mohammed, the one with the ball in hand. Now in the hand of Joe Cranks. Telford. Looking for the offload and gets it as well. Telford. Callum Chick. Telford again, numbers on the left hand side if they go quickly. And they may do as well. Needed the offload there, did Sam Jobson. But they come back for the early penalty. There was a four on one on the left hand side there. Gosworth went quick enough. Well, they're going to resort to plan B here and try again. Only just there from Marshall, only just getting uh, over the touchline. Five metre line out. Blarmeyer. Good collection. Now the drive coming again from Gosforth. In Adam Mohammed's hands again. Slowly but surely, Mohammed is getting closer and closer to the line. And his guy's gone down. Gosworth respond. Try there from Joe Craggs. Slow patient rugby there from Gosworth Academy. And now only two points behind. 10 8 day trial. Slow patient rugby. Taking their time, Mohamed, Craggs pinches the ball off Mohamed, spots the gap in front of the referee, and over he goes, 8-10 the score, and now Marshall looking to level the game up at 10 points apiece.
It's going to miss it on the right-hand side, though. So, two points, they trial. Victon College, 10. Gossett Academy, 8. Around 13 minutes to go in this first half. Tom Pott with restart, only just goes 10 metres, picked up by Adam Mohammed. Telford. Angus Fulton. Telford. Awkward pass from Marshall. Press that, send this one down towards Jack Faulkner. Good collection there from Gosworth's Sam Windus. But the penalty is won by Bicton. Windus holding on a little bit too long for the referee's liking. Penalty to Bicton on the halfway line. So, just holding on a little bit too long. When that sends the penalty given to Bicton. And that surely was not straight. So it'll be scrummed down. Blue ball. There's a little bit of wind in the ground. There was a little bit of a curse at the, the Alliance Park as well. That's the team that goes right to left in the second half tend to do better at this ground and the team going the opposite way. So, if you believe in superstition, this is Gosworth for the taking. Callum Chick. Telford. Penalty winner for the tackle and not rolling away. So, Gosworth with 10 minutes to go, give the ball to Marshall, who looks to send this one deep into Bicton territory. But a little bit of a hook on, the, on his boot this time. Doesn't gain as many yards as he would have wanted, just short of the Bicton 10 metre line on this occasion. Joe Craggs with a deflection. Richard Marr goes to ground. James Telford. Adam Mohammed. Knock on advantage here for Bicton as they turn the ball over. Bagwell, loose pass, picked up by Charlie Gibbons. Toby Papp. Into the Gosworth half. Bagwell. Tom Putt. Nice level pass out to Harvey Skinner. Robbie Hansford. Bagwell. Connor O'Shaughnessy. Bagwell. Josh Caulfield. Looking for the offload. Doesn't happen this time. Bagwell. Down in towards the corner from Tom Potts, and it will be a Gosworth line-out on their own 22. Blarmeyer goes short. The referee wasn't too happy with that line so we'll go again. Blarmeyer again. And a mirror image, that was. Telford. 
Salford. James Cooney. Tackle there by Tom Bottoms. Dan Marshall. Victor Penalty. An option here for Tom Putt. Is it in his range? He certainly thinks so. Good effort. Superb effort. Victor go five clear. 13 points to wait their lead. Around six minutes to go in this first half of this plate final. Marshall. With the restart. One again for Bicton. Tap and goal this time. Looking to catch Gosseth off guard, but that would have been knocked on. And it will be a Bicton putting on their own 10 metre line. Ball knocked forward there by Sam Jobson. Bagwell with the put in, five minutes to go in this first half. Hardy strong. Wasn't strong enough. Into touch. So Jamie Blamire with the line out. Can Gosworth pick up something towards the end of this first half? Intercepted here by Bigton. Bagwell. To his left. Pot spots a little bit of space. Unlucky with the bounce of the kick there. He's destined for touch. Good vision from the Bigton fly half. He's had an excellent first half. And they win the penalty once more. Good pressure this has been from Bigton College. He won their semi final against Ivy Bridge by 22 points to 13. Gosworth against Henley, 19 points to 17 in the other semi-final, much closer to the fair. So Bicton, looking to end this first half with a flourish. Three minutes to go. And collected as well. A real bonus could be coming here for Bicton College. Especially if they can get over the whitewash here, and they may do. It's a good drive from Bicton. Excellent drive. They're down. And it's a good try from Nat Bayet of Bicton College. 
18 points to 8 they now lead with the conversion to come. What a bonus at the end of this first half of this played final. Excellent catch and drive. Textbook stuff from Becton College. And their coach Rob Gibson, no doubt, will be thrilled with his side performance in this first half. Tom Pott looking to add the extras to make it a 12 point lead in this plate final. Eight points scored from his boot so far. Two penalties and one conversion. This to make it four for four. Another good kick from the right foot of Tom Pott. 20 points to eight. The score as the referee blows for half time. So, so far, three tries in the game. Three tries in the enthralling 35 minutes of rugby. So this is the first try. It's a good scrum there from Bicton College, it really was. And a good run from Jordan Petheridge. Some might argue, maybe a little bit of, inter of interference. Some might argue there, maybe, from Harry Strong, but the referee thought not. Petheridge with the first try of the game. Respond from Gosworth. Adam Mohammed at the back of the pack there. Joe Craggs rips the ball off him, spots the gap right in front of the referee, and he goes over. That made it 10 points to eight. And then just before the end of this first half, Nat Bayek, the number six for Bicton, getting over with that drive from Bicton College. A couple of penalties to add from Tom Putt and two conversions as well. Makes the score at half time. Gosworth Academy, eight, Bicton College, 20.
next bit of drama. Tom Potts with the restart. Gosworth chasing the game. They're 12 down. 35 minutes to play. Telford. Callum Chick. Telford. Marshall. Goes low this time. To his opposite number, Jordan Petherich, the first try scorer. Tackle by Jobson. Bagwell. Potts. Looks to find a little bit of space. Good kick it is from the Bicton fly half. It's really done well in this match so far, spotting them gaps. Puts Gosforth under pressure from the off. for Gosworth. So now a chance to clear their lines from the deep. Ball given to Marshall straight away. We want to gain, gain some yards on this. Decent effort up to halfway. And I did mention the first half that there is a little bit of a curse here at the Alliance Park that a team going right to left in the second half tend to do better than teams going the opposite way so Gosford threw out a little bit of luck on their side the superstitions to be believed check Mohammed good offload and he is away, it's Fraser Baldy. Offload didn't work too well, second time around, and Bicton on the counter-attack with Toby Papp. Ball's gone out loose, it's become a bit scrappy all of a sudden. Knock on advantage for Gosforth. Telford. Mohammed. Telford takes two to get him down and he's still going strong the ball may have been ripped from his grasp it has done Petheridge was the one with, with the work so he put, puts it into touch Gosworth with the line out just over the victim 10 meter line Judge the referee, and the try has been given. Gosford back in it. Trailing by seven, 13 points to 20. But just the start, PJ Butler's side we're looking for at the start of this second half.
Sold the dummy well. De Blanc-Maya just to get over the line. Feet were well in. So Marshall looking to reduce the rage from seven to five points. Difficult kick, but he can easily reach. It's a slice this time off his boot. Seven points the difference. Half an hour to play. Take from Mohammed. Blamaya, the second try scorer for Gosforth. Telford, Marshall. Returns on 22. Liberal of a low one. Tries to make it awkward for Petheridge as he launches his counter attack. Gets past Joe Cracks. Doesn't get past Sam Jobson. Bagwa. Gosworth win the penalty. So it's Gosworth through the ones on the front foot in the second half. Started the better. Much like Bicton had it all the wrong way in the first ten minutes of the first half. Cooker on the field for number seven, Tom Bottoms. Blamire. Tom Collins. Callum Chick. Good offload to Telford. And the penalty is given away. Gosworth's hard work undone. And chance now for Bicton College to get inside the Gosworth half to relieve this pressure from Bicton in this opening eight minutes of the second half. Excellent kick from Tom Putt. Excellent. Up towards the Gosworth 22. Wind may be assisting them in this second half. Ball's gone wrong, though. And Gosworth. With Tom Collins. Maybe gain something out of this. Marshall. The kick from zone 22 down the throat of Jordan Petheridge. He goes to counter attack once more. Towards Mike Searle, though. Pot finds the gap once more. Into the 22. Michael Lugger too far this time. Over the dead ball line. So back they go. Scrum down, blue ball. <laughs> Talford with the put in. Back will his shadow over his left shoulder.
it's Alfred. James Telford spotting the gap once more. Gains a good seven, eight metres. And maybe a little bit more. A nice little off ball, but it's been intercepted by Bicton. And here they come on the counter attack with Josh Caulfield. Caulfield trying to get round his opposite number, Tom Collins. Does well. Ends up towards the 22 now. Charlie Gibbons, the big man. Off to Toby Papp. And they win the penalty, Bicton. And there's a good chance now to go 10 points clear with a kick inside the 22. And that is the option that Tom Pot is going for. So 25 minutes of play to go. Picked in this to go 10 clear. Putt hasn't missed a kick all day. And he still hasn't missed any. 13 points from the right boot of Tom Putt. Picked in lead, 23 points to 13. Changes being made for uh, Gosworth. Jack Scott coming on the field. Knock on from Robbie Hainsford. Sacrifices the scrum for Gosworth. Looking to respond immediately. Time is their enemy now as well. Jack Scott, now the new scrum half for Gosforth. It's a loose line out, loose scrum, do beg your pardon. New reset to start that one again. Scott still in Gosforth hands but the ball was knocked forward and it'll be Bicton now with the putt-in at the scrum ball knocked forward there from James Cooney Where we are, 20 minutes to go. Victor leading by 10. Bagwell, Tom Pott, Petheridge, Jack Faulkner, stopped in his tracks by Searle and Jobson. Sees the gap. It's been good vision from Potts all day. 
who really has been fine in these areas. Gosforth been put on the back foot inside their own 22. But there's a penalty now to Gosworth on Jock Scott. into Victor territory. Placement hooker for Gosworth as well. Ralph Johnson on the field. Scrum down. Picton ball. Ball not straight at that line out. Both teams have been guilty of that in this plate final. So mind you as well, the championship final between Hartbury College and Filton College comes up at three o'clock this afternoon. Should be an enthralling tie that one. But we're concentrating on the plate right now. Gosworth really now. We need to try and start getting through the gears here. And they may have to do so from the back. Scott. Marshall. Kick downfield. Into the hands of Jack Faulkner. Carrying the, the ball like a loaf of bread. Good offload, but it, is, it was lost by Harry Strong. And Gosworth with the chance to counter. And they go no further. Ball's knocked forward. Blue ball, 15 minutes to play. Played. 
And they're looking back for that penalty advantage. Ball the high tackle and 15 minutes left to play. Gosworth need to get something on the board here. Even if it is just three points. They were looking for no se all seven, no doubt. A little bit more intent from Gosworth as they, as they saunder down to the Bicton 22. Pickpocketed by Josh Caulfield. And the penalty one. By Bicton, with 14 minutes left to play. With the ball in hand, and a, a penalty has to be launched downfield by Tom Potter, who has been excellent in this game. Up towards the Gosler 22. Superb kick. Shaughnessy. Now the drive from Victor. Right at the back, they continue to go forward, they continue to go forward. This could be the coup de grace. Good try, very good. <laughs> Number six again, Nat Bayet. They did it at the end of the first half, and they may have just won the plate with. A carbon copy here in the second half. Excellent drive from the 22. They continue to go, they continue to go. But it's right at the back. Picks up his second try of the game. And Victor College look like they're going to be taking the plate home. Excellently worked. 15 points clear, this goes 17 points clear and really may put the final nail into the Gosworth go uh, coffin. <laughs> Hasn't missed. Hasn't missed. Tom put six kicks from six. 15 points from his boot. has been excellent all afternoon. Really has been the Bicton talisman here at the Alliance Park in this played final. So Marshall with the restart. Gosforth, if they want to get anything from this final has to be an instant response. And it may well be good catch from Joe Cracks. Scott. Adam Mohammed up towards the Victor 22. It's gonna be quick ball, and it is going to be quick ball. Telford also on the pitch now as well. Ball knocked forward, but they're gonna come back for an earlier infringement. Attack, they're not rolling it away. Tap and go taken quickly. Joe Cracks. Scott. Talford. Callum Chick. Scott goes to his right. And they have a few numbers on the right hand side as well. Not anymore. Scott. Goes to his left. Fulton, five metres out. This is good stuff from Gosworth. Scott. 
Tal Talford. Ball went forward. And that could be that for Gosforth. Good intense here from Gosforth Academy. But the ball just coming forward there from James Telford into the hands of Adam Mohammed. The referee spotted it. And with 10 minutes to go, 17 points down. The writing could be on the wall here for Gosforth Academy. <laughs> So they scrum down, white ball. Bagwell puts in. Toby Papp picks up. Tom Pot. Bagwell loses his balance, but still gains possession and finds a little dart and run himself. But the ball was knocked forward, and it will be Blue Putty. Scott with the put in of the scrum. Callum Chick picks up. Only just gets past Nat Bayes. Offload to Sam Jobson. Scott. Adam Mohammed. Thumping tackle there by Charlie Gibbons, and he's been heard for his trouble. automatically getting some uh, treatment down below. He is moving, which is a good sign. You see Scott, there's Mohammed, Kian Gibbons here with a low tackle. And he's up on his feet straight away. It's an assessment injury, so he's going to go off the field straight away. Just make sure he's okay. He's up on his feet, hand replaced by number 18, Ben Logan. They made of hard stuff the front row. Seven minutes to go. <laughs> Bagwell with the putty. Put up in the air. High into the air. Good take from Marshall. Spins on the six puts, and now he's off and running. Takes a, takes a good tackle there from Toby Papp. Scott. Telford. Oh, 
but the penalty has been conceded. Hold it on. And that was maybe in the last glimmer of light there for Gosforth. Pot sends this one, launches it down the field. He's gained 70, 80 yards there. It's a massive kick with that right boot of his. Really has been superb all afternoon. Just remind you the championship final comes up at three o'clock. Both teams are warming up as we speak to my right hand side. And the cavalry making their way for Gosforth. Coming on the field, Harry Lane and Paul Barron. Josh Caulfield was one who collected at the line out. Ben Logan, the one with it. Will Flynn. Tom Pott. Jack Faulkner looking for the offload. He's going to go himself instead. And he's still going strong. It's Faulkner. He can be too strong for all of them. What a run that is! I just saw the line! Flynn. Numbers on the left hand side. It's going to be the coup de grace for Victor. Good last dish defence from Gosworth, though, to keep Victor out. He continues to go forward. Caulfield with it. Just short of the line. Flynn, cross-field kick, right under it is Robbie Hansman, game over. Victor are going to be taking the plate home. Robbie Hansford with the fourth try for Beckton of this game. And Tom puts this to make it seven kicks from seven. Superb. Absolutely superb. Seven kicks out of seven. A magnificent seven from Tom Potts. 37 points to 13. 17 points coming from the boots of Tom Potts this afternoon. Good vision from the Victor outside half to spot Robbie Hansford. He picks up and drops for their fourth try. All over by the shouting. But Bicton may look for more. Harry Strong. Harvey Skinner. Offload with a little bit of a juggling act to Will Flynn. Jack Faulkner. And Faulkner's up and running a lot as well. He's off to the races, looking for the fifth try of the game. Ah, uh, Bicton. Really looking to rub salt on the wound now. Unjustified, he could say. I think Godsworth have had a, a decent game today but they've come up against a much stronger side and that was a forward pass I can I can see that one from 100 yards away in the gantry two minutes to go Gosworth with the put in
Scott with the foot in. Callum Check. Scott. Advantage for being played here for Beckton. And they're going for the line here at Aidan Taylor. But the ball goes into touch. Getting towards the dying embers now of this played final. Just to remind you, of course, the championship final comes up. Kick off at 3 p.m. And also to remind you as well, the schools final. The schools finals of the Vars and the, the Cup take place at Twickenham seven days from now. Myself and David Rogers will be there. We're both very much looking forward to it. What should be a glorious afternoon at HQ. Scott with the put in. Got to look into running from the deep, but that sums up their game. And that is that. Bitter College are the winners of the AASC play for 2015. They have defeated Gosworth Academy convincingly by 37 points to 13. As I mentioned, I'm trying to remind you the championship final comes up at 3 o'clock between Harpery College and Filton College. I'm looking forward to that as the trophy presentations are due to take place up in the stands here at the Alliance Park. So then, plenty to talk about, plenty to go through. Let's have a look at all the tries of this game ahead of the trophy presentations. First try with Jordan Petheridge was the scorer. Nice angled run here from Petheridge. It's just go straight under the posts. Relatively straightforward kick from Tom Pott after an earlier penalty made it 10 points to three. Gosford responded almost immediately with an excellent drive. Adam Mohammed there was with the ball at the back to be snatched by Joe Craggs, who spots the gap in front of the referee. To make it 10-8. And then just before the end of the half, Gosseth won another penalty to make it 13-8, and then they got over with Nat Bayet to make it 20 points to eight. And that was really was a little bit of a dagger in the side there for, for Gosseth. Who worked hard towards the end of that for, uh, first half. But they responded well in the second half. Good try from Jeannie Brahmeyer to get them back into the game at 13 points to 20. Conversion was missed by Marshall, but from then it was all one-way traffic. Another Tom put penalty to make it 23 points to 13. And then Calvin Copy really of the second try. Now Bayet with the drive. Excellently worked try from Bipton College. With the conversion made it 30 points to 13. And then Tom Putt, who's at 17 points from his boot. His boot was like gold this afternoon. It was superb. Robbie Hainsworth with the catch and the take and the try, 37 points to 13. Rob Andrew from the RFU is the, is 
on presentation duty. So Gosford Academy just collecting their runners up medals. And they're on their way up uh, Bicton College. So the whole team collecting their winner's medals. No doubt being instructed to stay at the top there, getting ready for the photos from some of the rugby publications and websites. And you see some of these pictures of all the great actions that you've seen here this afternoon. They'll no doubt be put on. spectators taking their own little pictures from their phones as everybody gets a medal even the unused replacements as well just a few more players before Ollie Dore the Brickton captain with the last one to receive his medal Some excellent performances from the Victor team. Blackwell had an excellent game. As did Petheridge at the back. Tom Potts, I thought, was absolutely superb. So here we go. Oli Dorr, the Victor captain. Collects the plate. Victor, one point. So then, one down, one to go here at the Alliance Park. The plate final finishes like this. Gosworth Academy 13, Victor College, the winners of the plate with 37, they defeated Gosford 37 points to 13, and just to remind you, at 3 p.m., it is the championship playoff final between Hartbury College and Felton College. I hope you do join us then. Well, from me, Johnny Bryan, and the whole team here, see you shortly. Good afternoon.